Hey, what's up everyone? This is Nate. We're going to be doing a video today for H of Z on the Medici's Treasure event. I've had a few people in my alliance ask me for some tips and tricks on how to boost your score on this. So stick with us here for a few minutes and we're going to walk through it. Uh, first thing we want to start off with here is making sure we have the largest fleet size possible. So uh, what we want to do is uh, tap on our commander skills and use the fast expansion. Get a little boost there. And then we also want to use the uh, two-hour troop expansion uh, that you can buy uh, from the shop. So it looks like I don't have one right this minute. So let's go buy one here. Uh, there we go, two-hour troop expansion. So we will use that. And we will also use uh, a one hour attack and HP bonus. So get those. All right, next thing we need to do is make sure we have the correct officers assigned. So we're going to go over here, make sure we have uh, Morgan and Godfather for maximum fleet size. And then also make sure you have whatever officers are best for your warfare. Um, so for me personally, uh, I have a butterfly and big dog still in there. Uh, if you have Zeus and Alexandria leveled up, those are probably going to be a better choice for you. Uh, I do not have them very high just yet, so I stick with the uh, the blue officers there. But Tifa, Stormbow, Aeon, Panda, and then a butterfly and big dog. Next thing we're going to want to check is the status of our Titans. Uh, in the Medici's Treasure event, you can get some uh, boosts for the Titans, the mutant meat and some of the modified fluids and things like that. So if you have a Titan that is close to being ready to, to level up, uh, make sure you're aware of that because you can drop out of the uh, treasure event and come in here and level up your Titan if you're close and then hop back into the uh, the event. So it uh, looks like I'm just uh, one one away from being able to level up the Empress there. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that. If we get uh, one more of those um, modified fluids there, we can come back up here and level her up. So just something else to keep in mind. Um, uh, last thing, make sure you've got a, a shield on your city. Don't want to get attacked while we're in the middle of this. Our alliance is currently at war with a bunch of douche nozzles who have named their cities an alliance after the Expendables movie. So make sure you uh, stay safe while we're doing this. And once we've got all that in place, I think we should be good to uh, jump into the event here. So let's find uh, Medici's treasure. And we can uh, skip past all the exposition here. And let's get to our fleet formation. So uh, one of the nice things about this is you can send all of your zombie troops. So let's get all of them selected. Uh, and then we're going to set it pretty similar to um, what you would use for attacking another city. Uh, so uh, I'm going to go heavy on those uh, T10 shredders there. We'll do uh, 3,000 of them. Uh, and then instead of just doing a single unit of the rest of the front row like I normally would, we want to do a little more because we're going to be battling waves of enemies here. Uh, so let's see, let's do um, for those uh, soldiers there, we can do, uh, do about a, a hundred of each. We'll see how that works. So there's a um, so two units a piece, so we'll actually do 50 of those. We'll do 100 of the infantry. And then the uh, the tanks are five units a piece. Um, but uh, I don't know, we'll do 100 of those to get 500 units. Uh, so we'll give that a shot. Um, probably be best to do a little more of those next time, but we'll see how it works out. Same thing for the middle row. Uh, I don't do a ton of these. Uh, maybe just a uh, thousand of those thousand units of the T10 troops. 
uh, and maybe a hundred of the T9s. And then we get to the back row and here's where we really want to load up on things. So I've got uh, 10,000 of those uh, T10 EMP cannons. So we'll lock those in and then uh, 5,000 of the T9 cannons and then uh, just a thousand of the shielders. We'll lock those in and then fill in the rest with those T10 snipers. Uh, make sure we have uh, both of those Titans selected. Those come in handy. And once we've got the formation ready to go, let's set out. All right, so once we're here into the event, first thing we wanna do uh, in the upper right-hand corner, tap on that use buff. You can see we've got the attack and HP bonuses, but let's go ahead and buy the Medici attack and HP tonics as well. All right, so we've got all that in place. Uh, now, my strategy for clearing the boards here is first you want to Avoid fighting any of the monsters that pop up. Uh, you want to find the uh, armory or the hospital first and get that uh, so that you get an HP or an attack boost for the board. Then you want to fight the boss on the level uh, and then he'll drop one of those dice that will give you another boost. And once you've got those two things out of the way, then you can go back and clean up the board and, and kill all the, the monsters and get all the precision parts for your uh, for your score. So with that in mind, uh, I usually kind of like to just uh, start going around the outside, uh, do a ring around the outside, uh, clear, open up these tiles here. All right, so we run into a monster there, so let's go back around the other way. And sometimes you'll get stuck like this where you have to kill one to, to keep moving, so we'll go ahead and do that. All right, there we go. There is our armory. So after we defeat this, it reduces our damage by 20% across the whole board. So we'll go ahead and take that out. Now we want to try to find the boss on this level. So let's keep moving on. All right, uh, one of the boosts that pops up here, are these, uh, these health boosts that let you heal troops or increase your troop size. Uh, I am going. I usually hold off on these until the very end of the level. So we'll come back to that after we take care of the boss here, and you'll see this uh, plays out pretty similar to a, a player versus player battle with the troops. Now you notice I uh, I've lost some of the the front line troops and some of those midline troops. Uh, so I guess I probably did not put enough of those in there. So uh, if you're watching this, getting ready to do your own. I add a few more of those. So now here's with the uh, the boost we get from the boss. So obviously lean towards the higher level ones. Um, so on this one, we've got the long range attack and the scavenger. So I lean towards anything that's gonna boost my long range attack or my front row HP or defense. Um, so on this one, the scavenger would not be a bad choice here because we're early enough in that getting that 20% boost throughout the rest of the event uh, is gonna give us a lot of extra points. Uh, so that's not bad, but I think on this one, I'm gonna take the, uh, the boost to the long range attack. So now that I've got the, uh, the, armor, the hospital taken care of and the boss out of the way, I've gotten all of the boosts that I'm gonna get probably from this level. So now it's okay to uh, go through here, open up the rest of the tiles and uh, take out the rest of the, the zombies that we find on this level. All right, now that we've cleared the board, we've got these uh, three health boosts left. Um, normally, in the early stages when the enemies are easy and you're not losing that many troops, uh, I would just do the troops plus 5% on all of these. But since I went a little too low on some of those frontline and midline troops, uh, I'm gonna do the heal wounded for the first one to try to get some of those guys back. And then I'll do the uh, plus 5% for the other two. To, increase my fleet size. All right, 
And with that all out of the way, let's go on to the next layer. I'm going to use the same strategy as before. Let's work our way around the outside. Uh, avoid fighting any zombies until we uh, unlock the uh, armory or the hospital. And there we go. There's our armory. So let's clear that, get a 20% attack boost. Try to find the uh, boss now. Keep working around the outside. All right, there's a challenger chest. Um, so you can either wait on those and try to find a key to unlock it for free. Uh, or if you want, you can take a look at it here. The first one to unlock costs us uh, just 200 gold. So let's see what we've got here. All right, we'll go ahead and unlock that. And all right, those are all pretty decent. Uh, all of those would help. Um, I think for this one, we'll go for the, uh, the front row HP boost. Let's keep trying to find the boss on this level. There we go. All right. So at this point, let's talk a little bit about some of these uh, bonuses we have down at the bottom here. Um, you've got the uh, rockets available that can be used to uh, take out a zombie. You've got the uh, the attack bonus uh, and the uh, a no wounded uh, bonus. Um, save all of those until later on uh, in the levels where you're actually going to have some trouble uh, killing the, the zombies or the bosses. Um, but uh, now let's go ahead and uh, take out the boss here on this level. And you can see I still got all of those uh, the, the on the front row, the armored soldier and the infantry and the tanks. Uh, I didn't have enough of those. They all got wiped out. And then on the midline, I lost a couple too. So uh, need to do a little more of those troops next time. So let's see what we get here. Uh, long range attack or scavenger. So let's do the long range attack boost there. Keep uh, anything we can do to boost that long range attack is going to help us in these battles here. So clear out the rest of the board. Hopefully we get a couple more health boosts. Yeah, it looks like we just get the one there. So let's do that. Let's uh, go uh, troops plus 5%. Keep growing our fleet size and move on to the next board. All right, so uh, same as before, clear around the outside. You see we unlocked a shop here. If you have some extra gold to spend, you can buy uh, different boosts here. Um, I find I usually get enough for what I need just going through the through the board, so I don't typically spend uh, a lot of gold on the shop to buy extra stuff there. There we go. Okay, so we have a new one here. This is the radar. Um, defeating this will unlock all the tiles on the board. And this is still, uh, even though it's not like the uh, the armory or the hospital, it's still useful because you can find, you can see here, we unlocked a, a challenger chest key. So sometimes you'll find those in a, a challenger chest that you'll be able to unlock earlier than you otherwise would. <clears throat> so those are helpful to have, um, but nothing else really that's gonna help us here. So let's just uh, collect all the stuff and then take out the boss. See what kind of boost we get from him. All right, there we go. Troops plus 15%. That's a, a no brainer right there. We'll take that. And then clear out the rest of the zombies. And then we've got the three health boosts after that. So we'll get the uh, Use all three of those troops plus 5%, keep growing our fleet size. And on to the next tile. So 
There we go. There's our armory. So let's take that out first. Look for the boss. Here we go. Go ahead and speed this up a little bit here. We know these uh for these first uh you know, usually 10, 11, 12 tiles, we know we can win all of these battles fairly easily. All right, so here's one now. We've got um, uh, a boost for the your the zombies in your army uh, versus this looter boost. Um, I typically shy away from doing boosts to the zombie troops. Uh, they make up a relatively small portion of your army compared to all of the other troops. So a boost to them is you know, only going to affect a small percentage of the overall fleet. So if there's nothing better, then yeah, go ahead and do that. But if you've got other things available, um, aside from boost to the zombie troops, I usually lean that way. So on this one, uh, a boost to the, uh, the loot that we get from killing zombies seems like the way to go here. That's going to, especially since we're still fairly early on, uh, and we've got a lot more zombies to kill, that'll give us a higher overall score. So we'll take that one right there. And then now that we've got the uh, armory and the boss out of the way, we'll clear the rest of the board. See, we've got a supply chest there, and I already had a key from the last board. So it looks like we get the same options that we had before. So I'll take that uh, looter again. And then we'll just go through here and clear out the rest of the zombies, see what else we get. All right, we've still got uh, most of our troops, very few wounded. So we'll take this health boost here and do a troops plus 5% again, keep growing our fleet size. And on to the next layer. There's another radar station, so we'll get that, see what we uncover on the board here. Get all that stuff, so we'll take out the boss next. On this one, the uh, front row defense seems like the pretty obvious choice, so we'll take that. Clear out the rest of the zombies. And we still got these uh, two health boosts here. We still have very few wounded troops, so we'll just do a plus 5% on each of those and move on. All right, so here's one of those instances where it's really useful to use the radar to unlock all of the tiles because we get that uh, challenger chest key or the supply chest key and uh, don't have to spend gold to unlock it. So for our options here, front row attack is usually not that good. We've got a zombie attack or a scavenger boost. Um, I tell you what, I've already done a couple of those uh, scavenger boosts. So we'll go ahead and do the uh, zombie attack on this one. Give us a give our army a little extra punch there. Do what else we can unlock to help us out, and then 
Uh, might have to uh, check out our Titans here, see if there's uh, anything we can do to boost them. But let's go ahead and take out the boss on this level. Again, these are we're still early enough on that uh, all of these battles are fairly easy. Nothing to be too concerned about here. See what kind of boost he leaves for us. Oh, there we go. So we can either uh, increase the number of zombies or increase our Titan attack. Um, so I don't know. Those are really almost kind of a toss up. Um, Titan attack is nice, but you've only got two of them, so it's not like they do all that much damage to begin with. Uh, the zombie boost, I think we'll go with that here, because that's since we've only got those uh, shredders on the front line now, the zombies kind of act as our secondary front line after they're gone, so uh, uh, increasing them will help us out. And then uh, we'll do the plus 5% troops, because you're up to a fleet size of 500,000 now, which is nice. So move on to the next layer, keep going on. All right, there's our boss right off the bat. So let's go back and see if we can find the uh, an armory or hospital before we tackle him. Well, at this point, uh, it's going to be tough to find the armory or hospital, so we'll just uh, take on the boss here and get the uh, get the boost from killing him before we take out the rest of the zombies on this level. All right, the uh, front row attack and the mid-range defense are not really that useful to me, so I'll go ahead and take the uh, Titan attack boost here. See what else we can find on the board here. Looks like our building is going to be the last thing that we find. So there we go. So it doesn't do us any good on this board, but we'll still go ahead and uh, do the battle here just to get the uh, parts off of it and boost our score that way. Sometimes that's just the way it works out where you don't get those early enough to be useful. Um, all right, you can see our wounded, we're down to 93% of the troops left. So on this one, we'll go ahead and do the, uh, still do the fleet boost on both of those. And maybe on the next board here, we'll do a heal wounded to get some of those guys back. There's our boss. All right, well, it looks like we don't have a choice. We'll have to take out the boss first before we can open up any other tiles. Uh, for the uh, supply chest, you can see the, the second one to unlock is 500 gold. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that, see what we get out of it. All right, so uh, troop attack or enhanced medic, either one of those I think would be a, a good choice here. Um, uh, we'll go ahead and do the uh, enhanced medic. So just try to reduce our wounded after each battle, and then we'll go ahead and take on the boss now. So you can see, the zombies are getting a little more challenging here, so they, they got through my front row pretty quickly, uh, but we still have enough troops that we can handle the boss without too much trouble. So we'll get him, see what uh, kind of boost we get here. There we go, troop attack across the board by 40%. That's a no-brainer right there, so we'll take that. And let's clear out the rest of the board, see what we can find. Here's our radar. All right, so you can 
see after clearing that, we're down to 89%. So on this next health boost here, we're going to use that to uh, heal wounded, get a, get back to full strength. So we can see our fleet is up to 528,000 now. So that's quite a bit more than where we started. Those little 5% boosts keep adding up. So that's why uh, I like to do those early on. Go. There's our armory. So we'll get that. So starting around layer 10, 11, somewhere in there, that's usually where I'm going to start using some of those bonuses, like the 50% uh, bonus on the boss and the no wounded on the armory or hospital. All right, here the uh, Titan attack. That's a pretty obvious choice there, and clear off the rest of the board and move on. All right, on to layer 10. Um, we can still defeat the enemies here fairly easily, so we don't need to start using the attack boosts or the rockets or the no wounded or the SOS uh, yet. Um, but maybe in the, the next layer, it'll be time to do that. So it's always nice when you get your uh, building with the first one you try and get the boss right after, so it works out perfectly the way we want it. Again, I don't like to do the zombie boosts too much. We'll do the scavenger here. We still have another, hopefully, four or five boards to clear and lots of zombies to kill. So that uh, scavenger parts boost will still be pretty useful for us, hopefully. For this uh, supply chest, you can see the third one you try to unlock uh, costs 800 gold. So I'm going to hold off on that one right here. And we'll just uh, take this last health boost before we move on. We'll use that to heal wounded since we're getting a little low on some of those front row troops. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the attack boost before we take on the boss on this level. You can see the uh, 
tore through my front row pretty quickly there. So <clears throat> we would have still beaten him without the boost, but it doesn't hurt to have it there. And on this one, so we look at the, uh, we've got the purple zombie defense, but a 20% troop attack across the board is pretty appealing as well. But um, at this point with my, my front row getting a little depleted, um, those those zombies kind of become a, a secondary front row from the middle of the formation there. So getting a defense boost of 80% for those guys is, uh, that'll be helpful. So we'll take that one there. All right, for the wounded, you can see we're at 95%. That's still pretty good. So we'll, I think for this one, we'll do the troops plus 5% and move on to layer 12. So for this one, I'm going to use the uh, start using the no wounded on uh, to unlock the buildings and keep using those uh, attack boosts to handle the boss. And we can still defeat the zombies easily enough that I don't need to use rockets on them just yet. There we go, troop attack 80%. That's awesome, that's gonna help us out a lot. So with this uh, with this event, there's definitely uh, strategy to be used, but some of it is uh, definitely luck as to which sort of boosts you get. So a few more of those and we'll be in really good shape. All right, we're gonna do the uh, heal wounded there to get back to full strength and move on to 13. Use the uh, no wounded and open up that uh, radar station. And then use that attack boost there and take out the boss. There we go, Troops Ruler. All right, so we're down to 93%. So let's heal wounded again and get everybody back. Move on to 14. There's 
armory. Ah, I forgot to use the no wounded on that. So you can see here, battling all of these smaller zombies is really chipping away at my health here in these upper levels. Uh, so when I do finally get to the boss, I'm going to be a little bit more depleted than I would like. There we go. But so you could use the uh, the health to heal wounded, but I think with the attack boost, I can still uh, still should be able to take this army out. You can see these battles are much more difficult now. So got some good ones to choose from here. And that, that top one is only going to affect the zombie troops. So you figure I've got about, I think I saw about 40 or 50,000 of those. So choosing that one, you know, it's going to add another 20, 25,000 troops there. But again, that only affects just the zombies. So, you know, the looter is nice, but we're pretty late in the game here. So it's not going to take effect you know, for too much longer. It's not going to help me out that much in the long run. Um, but then the troop ruler there, uh, increasing the stats for all of the troops across the board by 20%. Uh, I think that's going to be the way to go here. Finish him off and then heal wounded and move on to layer 15. You know, before we go to the next layer, though, uh, we've gotten some boosts for our um, Titans. So let's check them out and see if there's anything that we can uh, we can level up here. So it looks like I'm still short one modify fluid there to be able to do anything and nothing I can do on the uh, on either of them really so we'll go back to the, uh, the treasure event and go on to layer 15 here all right here's here's where we're definitely starting to get uh, close to the end of the road as far as uh, what I'm going to be able to defeat here so Again, keep using the uh, that heal wounded before um, attacking the uh, the armory or the hospital. This is where I'm going to start using rockets to take out some of the monsters, so that I don't have to lose troops, uh, so that we can be at full strength when we take on the boss. So, no wounded, defeat the armory. Keep using rockets to take these guys out and uncover tiles. There we go. All right, so pretty close to full strength here. So let's use the attack boost and take on the boss and see what we can do. right through the front line there and what's left of the middle line so looks like I'm gonna have just enough back row to be able to pass this one all right nice so we got a uh, couple of really good bonuses here uh, I am going to uh, lean towards the surmount to increase the troop level, but 
before we do that, uh, I'm going to back out of here and use one of those uh, healing uh, bonuses to get all of my wounded troops back. And then I'll do the, the boost. <clears throat> Finish off the rest of the monsters. Uh, heal wounded again to get back up to full strength. You can see even now just, you know, attacking these single zombies, it's taking a significant percentage of my troops. Got some uranium there, that's nice. Okay, there's our radar station, so we'll use the no wounded and open that up. All right, we got a supply chest on this one. Tell you what, I don't think I can uh, beat the boss as it stands right now. So maybe I'll go ahead and splurge a little bit here and open that up and uh, see if that gives me enough to uh, to get past this level. Awesome, another 25%. That'll help a lot. going to be close. But it looks like that extra 25% may have been just enough to put me over the top here. Awesome. There we go. And there's another 40% boost across the board. See each each attack now on one of the monsters is taking off another two, three, four percent each time. Alright, but we got two health boosts, so we can heal wounded and then do another five percent. You can see I'm up to uh, over seven hundred thousand troops in the fleet now. Probably not going to be able to beat this boss as it stands now, but I'll do uh, use both of these plus fives here and then my attack boost and we'll give it a shot see if that's enough. Yeah, look at that. They just tore through 4,000 T10 shredders like it was nothing. So, yep, not enough firepower to get past this one. All right, so I cannot beat this boss right now, so I'll go ahead and uh, finish off these uh, last few zombies so I can at least get the, the precision parts and the points for them.
use the last few boosts that I have left. You can see I'm really getting low now. Now it's to the point where I can't can't even beat those guys. So you notice down in the lower right hand corner that little plus sign showed up there. We can use that to uh, use 300 gold to heal all of the wounded. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that, and that'll give me enough troops to finish off these last few zombies and get a few more points here. So there we go. And then you'll notice also in the upper left-hand corner under the battle supplies, uh, if you want to spend some actual cash, there's some, uh, some other bonuses you can get. You see there, this is a somewhat new, the Hand of Midas, where it'll kill one boss, get a, a better dice, and let you move on to the next level. Uh, not going to spend seven bucks on that one today. Uh, this is a pretty good score for where we're at, but if you're willing to spend a little, you can get even further. Uh, but that's uh, that's about as far as we can go here. That's what we can do. So uh, hopefully you found some useful tips and information on this, uh, some good strategies. Uh, if you have anything else that I might have missed or haven't thought of, uh, please drop it in the chat. And uh, maybe I'll do another video later on and uh, include some of that stuff. Uh, if you look here, uh, the event just started a couple hours ago. So there haven't been that many people have played yet, but I got uh, got up to number three right here. And, you know, overall, I would say my city is not that strong. I'm only at C30 and, you know, kind of middle of the pack in our world as far as battle power goes. So I feel like that's a pretty decent score given what I've got to work with. So hopefully some of you guys with uh, even more powerful cities will be able to use this stuff and get even better scores. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, please leave any comments uh, down in the chat that you want. Thank you.